You know what you guys have spoken enough about how to become more attractive as a guy for you guys on this channel. So I thought rather than me giving my gyan again and again, why not get one of the most influential people when it comes to men's fashion and men's style in the entire world. In today's mini episode of the Renvi show, we've got one of India's most influential men's coaches, one of the most influential men's wear designers and one of the most influential people in the entire fashion industry giving you some dope on how to dress well, how to be better groomed than you already are, and very importantly, how to be classy, how to be much more attractive. Narendra Kumar on how to be an attractive man overall. Let's go. So ladies and gentlemen, today in the house, we've got Mr. Narendra Kumar. In the house. <laughs> in the house, really. He's one of the world's top 50 fashion designers. He also does a bunch of other things. Menswear, top 50 <laughs> best men's stores in the world. Let yes. me correct you. Yes, 100%. Let me more definite about that. Uh, yeah. But in in our, but out of all the people I know personally, yeah. you're one of the most like kind of well-groomed, well-dressed, well-accomplished people. I try. <laughs> so, I try. Uh, this video is basically going to be a training session for all my brothers watching this show. Right, love to do that. Uh, we're going to make this, this is what I've been doing all my life, man. <laughs> we're going to make people a lot more attractive. Right. Uh, we're going to increase the attractiveness potentials. Absolutely. I I, I think it's got to do more with the mind and the body. Yeah. Not just the body. Hundred yeah. percent. But we'll start off with style. Absolutely. So, Nari, my first question to you is: So, what's the first thing you notice in a guy? Um. Of course, it's for me. It's always the shoes. Okay. They're because uh, it tells me a lot about the person, how they carry themselves, and what are the little, little, small things that are important. And yeah. whatever shoe, it need not be the kind of shoe that I like, yeah. but how it is kept, what it is, is really uh, gives me an idea of how particular a person is in anything that they do. Hmm. Because a lot of people think that you know the footwear really doesn't matter as long as you have a good demeanor and good clothes on kind of stuff. I think the footwear really qualifies. Yeah, it matters the most. It matters a lot. Uh, it so matters a lot. You, and I am a footwear freak, by the way. So same, same. I love shoes. The dream would be for me to open an Indian Steve Madden at some point. <laughs> <laughs> so Touché. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, my next question to you. Um, you know, you've worked in like a startup environment. You worked right. in like this organi big organization and right. MNC and you've been a fashion designer as well. So how much does style matter in professional environments? I, I think that, you know, Malcolm Gladwell put it really nicely uh, in the book Blink that he wrote that it is within the first five seconds of meeting someone that you already judge the person. God. You know, uh, you judge the person uh, by the way they dress because you already, before you even have said a word, you already define the person by how the person looks. And people don't, and you know, there are careers that need certain kind of clothing. Uh, um, and how do you dress for each of them is really important. Yeah. Uh, because perception plays a big role in larger, in a lot of people's minds about how they define a person Got that they're talking to. Got it. So could you like just straight off the top of your head, give me like the five best dressed guys in India? Ah, five best dressed guys in India. Um, I, I think there are lots of the new guys. I love, I love uh, how Ranveer Singh plays uh, with color, fun, sensibility, um, all of that. I like, I, I like how Saif is always smart and well turned out mm. in his, uh, uh, clothing. Um, I think the, you know, uh, the newer, younger people, uh, more conversant with fashion, uh, you see them really smartly dressed, but, um, a lot of them need and get help from their stylists when it comes to, uh, uh, their own fashion statement, you know. Uh, most of them focus on their careers, but very few really uh, understand their, have their own sense of style, you know. Priyanka Chopra, for instance, has her own great great style. I mean, you, you look at Deepika also. Of course, she knows what she wants being a model before and coming into this, so she has understanding. I also love Kangana's style, her own style that they're doing. Um, they have a sense of individuality and know 
Got what it. they want to wear in Got spite it. of the fact that they have stylists to help them yeah. they know what they want you know so f- for me these are the four five people who really but, but men at, like some other so men. if you look at more men i think uh you know contemporary people you know you, you would look at uh, say what finding it difficult actually okay. akshay finding it difficult <laughs> akshay yeah sorry akshay does and we've styled him in many films i like that he keeps a really calm and athletic demeanor to himself and i like i like his athleticism you Because know it helps the clothes look better yeah it does it makes him look better and for the rest of them i think they're more focused on their careers than their own Got looks it. what do you think of not Shah- that akshay is not akshay is very 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 much focused <laughs> on his career but i think he considers his fashion a part of his career i think so and he, he gives the right place he knows it's right place and he knows how to yeah. work it what do you think of shahrukh khan's sense of style Shahrukh Khan also I mean um from you know um his style is uh, smart and fun and casual with a lot of jeans and that kind of stuff youthful is yeah. what I would say is how he would project himself mm mm-hmm. I really actually enjoy Ranbir Kapoor's sense of style as well so I that's another story you know i don't watch very many bollywood films so these yeah. names are really popping up at me uh ranbir also uh youthful young sporty athleisure also and he rich carries boy. it well he's got this rich boy sense of style a lot of yeah. suede lot of like velvet which yeah, we so don't yeah so he's elegant in that sportswear space got it yeah. uh and i've actually really begun to enjoy vicky koshal sense of style like if you see his instagram now i don't know how much of it is his stylist vicky koshal also yeah, yeah he wears a lot of our clothes or i okay. think he does i'm not <laughs> sure I don't know who all are wearing but there are a lot of people wearing. Yeah. So I see uh I see a lot of his style also coming up. Um again new age athleisure youthful yeah. nice stuff. Yeah. So what are some Thanks for helping me with the names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Um what are three common style mistakes you see Indian guys make? I'm not talking about like media people, I'm just talking right. on the street. I mean I other than were, shoes, other than shoes. I know they wear white socks with everything. <laughs> White socks are only meant to play tennis. Yeah. Yeah. And sports. Hmm. And unless you're Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Uh two is um you know a sloppy fit. Hmm. You know, oversized clothes, baggy, no, baggy, not tailored, understanding that kind of stuff. Though the younger generation I would say is not doing that as much. Um what else? I mean, those are probably two things and we wear all sorts of colors this is a country of colors so you know um people were thinking for the occasion oh, okay. more appropriate would be nice but you know who am i to say yeah but yeah. you're talking about like daytime night time so people yeah. wear bright colors at night or things yeah like it's stuff like stuff like that is like you know um is it a summer wedding it's a winter wedding it's mm. indoors it's outdoors you know mm. uh and each to themselves but if i were to look at stuff i would i would err on the side of being more elegant monochromatic play with softer colors mm. kind of things i want to talk about suits a little bit to you tell me uh so if you see a guy wearing a smart navy blue suit do you think to yourself ah this is so conventional so done no i think you know that is smart because uh a navy blue not a suit i would say a blazer yeah is probably the most versatile piece of clothing for men who have got beyond a certain point what do you, you mean know? i mean your first job kind of getting beyond your first job moving up in life and it's versatile because it travels well hmm. it matches mixes with everything really well hmm. you know and when you wear a blue blazer it's important that you have a good fit got it because it's such a versatile piece it can do a lot for you mm. and can do a lot for you with one item of clothing mm-hmm. which is an eye it can dress you up it can dress you down yeah yeah 100% you know you can do that you can play around with that in so many ways like no other blazer or no other color can do mm. no other color definitely yeah. no other color not even black yeah you're not a fan of black uh, blazers uh too done no i mean for me it says that you're not even trying got it same i completely agree with that you're not trying other than blue what other colors do you like when it comes to men's jackets and blazers i mean i am a person i would do pale colors i would do peach i would do beige i would i would do i would do every you mean i'm the wrong person to ask <laughs> i mean i would do any color i know if because if you have to pick another a suit i would wear a yellow blazer and walk around <laughs> <laughs> if i had to 
No, but if you had to pick, say, a suit for just a regular guy on the road, yeah. I'm sure you'd pick a navy blue suit for him. But then, what's your second color? But I mean, black, obviously, oh, <laughs> because, because it's easy. You don't have to think much. It fits in well with everything, and you are presumed to be okay with that. And your third color? My third color for for a man would be obviously gray. Gray? Yeah. Dark gray, light gray. I mean, I I prefer steel gray. Okay. Got like you know it works better it has some lightness it has some color it doesn't put you in this black mold hmm. you know it's not as corporatey it's not it's not it can be fun dressed up lightly it can be serious dressed up with a tie yeah 100%. you know it works well i mean the other color with after blue would be a light gray suit okay got it um yeah. what's your take on like men's perfumes uh i think especially in india body care is really grooming is really really an important aspect of our lives i mean you don't want to walk into a room talk to someone you know who is beard completely out of shape mm-hmm. yeah uh and it, it especially in india because of the humidity because of the heat you sweat a lot uh grooming is something that people really l- don't pay attention to i think that really is an important very important aspect of one's personality you know as much as wearing a good outfit you need to be well groomed yeah uh, could you list out like your top 3 favorite fragrances that you would recommend to the everyday guy to the everyday guy i don't know i can how would i recommend something everyday okay, forget guy. the everyday, prices everyday guy. forget the prices i everyday guy i mean you know i think one that works well with everyone across the board is something like a davidoff cool water the cool water yeah, yeah. it works well nice fragrance uh good um you know i i use different stuff i use something i use is something called uh i'm sorry not something a perfume called karl lagerfeld for men okay uh, what's it like it's a, i prefer musky woody uh aromas little deep and sexual yeah musky woody uh, you know uh i don't know how that sign how that what that cannot yeah. but musky woody is what i like yeah. little old school also um look at me <laughs> <laughs> no i'm not old school but i think i i, I don't mind experimenting with this is one that i really really like which is really sharp and stringy is called hinoki number no. 1 okay uh by com de garçon okay. uh it comes in a small yellow bottle again <laughs> <laughs> cuz yellow is your favorite y- yellow is my favorite no and it's a great perfume got it it's a great perfume you know key number 1 yeah so my take on perfumes is um, again for the everyday guy yeah. uh, i'm like a super high personality person so i want my perfume to speak as well you, your perfume arrives before you yes <laughs> yes for sure always and, I, and no, for me i i think it is more subtle for me got it you know uh, just like my clothing you know what goes inside it is really important yeah uh, how it is finished what like because that's a sense of world that i have for myself mm. yeah and my perfume is also like that it's it, it doesn't speak beyond me it needs to be me and it's only for people who are around me yeah 100%. that's it 100% it it doesn't announce my arrival hmm. and um so okay I'll, again coming back to my favorites right. like this thing called uh, jivanchi what jivanchi okay jivanchi gentleman only no noir there was a nice one called noir okay if you have not tried it that's a really nice i'll, I'll check no it it's a black bottle jivanchi noir yeah, i so think it's noir no sorry I don't think that it's Drakanoa. Okay. Okay. That used to be the that used to be the perfume of the 90s I think. Got it. Uh there's this other one called Dior Sauvage, super yeah. super versatile. Absolutely. Um and I've actually discovered this one called uh, Brit Rhythm by Burberry. Right. Incredible. It's extreme. Because and what is the what uh, is it that you like about very it? Very thick. Thick. Yeah. Very yeah. thick, very uh, kind masculine. of masculine. You know, it's it's masculine but it's chocolate boy. Okay. So it's like a mas- like me. And that reflects <laughs> <laughs> So that reflects your person. Yeah. <laughs> masculine chocolate Ma- boy. Masculine chocolate boy. Uh, yeah. And also extremely loud. So if I wear that's one perfume where if I put it on I always get caught. I thought that was limited to the Arab world, <laughs> but I guess in India also you need like it. Like the Udi perfumes that yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that is sort of what the middle east is known like the creed yeah 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 perfume yeah, yeah, like that really strong perfumes uh that last a lifetime yeah. you have you put your bathe in it once and you don't have to put anything exactly. else on for That's the next exactly 100 years is. probably yeah. kind of stuff 
yeah that that's kind of too strong for me yeah, yeah. i i completely get it like i yeah. i want my perfume whisper no i want to do different things every day <laughs> i don't want to be the same person every day say, say, like i said i can do all things i want to be different people every day I completely get that um i've also recently discovered ise miyaki which i enjoy also like, nice yeah. uh yeah the poor day say I think the sil the silver bottle. Yeah, they very nice and sporty. Also, they make. High, I, I've been using it for a while. Yeah, high personality perfumes. Yeah, and uh, my everyday perfume is this thing called David of Champion. Yeah. Um, it's it's very like citrusy. So there's yeah. two versions. There's a black version. There's a light version. That's something else that I like. Citrus. Oh, citrus yeah. also, you know. Um, there's this body shop product that I use. Okay. Called Sustumi Sustuma. Something. Hmm. It is also citrus in its Got shower it. gel Got kind it. of stuff, which is uh, which is really really nice yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. So you know, other than perfumes, which is like this thing you spray on yourself for guys, are there these other kind of habits you can do to look more classy or be more classy? I think most important, number one, get a sense of humor. <laughs> get a sense of humor. Uh, that is classy, and that's what people like. Number two, read. Yeah. So you're interesting. And number three. more to do with the body is your posture oh okay and you know, a posture is really important mm. you know when you stand you need to stand yeah and i won't say stand like a man anymore because that is not relevant anymore in this world today but stand like you command yeah just keep your spine straight i know it's like like you command that's how you command respect by standing properly 100%. you know most people stand really slouched and mm. easy and you know lethargic kind of thing yeah. uh that's what cell phones have done to people yes Yeah. Yeah, that is because you're cloud yeah. and you will not know most people are going to end up with this spondylitis of the yeah. neck yeah. Yeah. because you're completely bent over most of the time. Yeah. Uh and, and one should take time to exercise. But coming coming down to the grooming side again, like right. perfumes are a part of a man's grooming right. process. Yeah. What else you know does that encapsulate the grooming process like things that in 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 guys you know, I know the worst thing worst thing that young people don't take care of is hair popping out of their nose <laughs> the worst god and or hair years. popping out of the ears yeah, yeah. i have a name for it and there used to be a minister in the olden days called jagjeevan ram huh. who we used to call kanan bala huh. means someone who has hair in his ears <laughs> yeah you know? and i think that men really don't take into consideration that you know just imagine to me i'm 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 talking to someone and this little hair popping out of the nose it like you know i don't know what i'm seeing i don't even see the person in front yeah, of me yeah, yeah. it's just the hair that is bothering me all yeah. the time how do people have hair like that you know yeah, yeah. how do people not see it in the mirror every day <laughs> i mean you just walk around like it's part of your personality yeah, yeah, you know yeah. so it is important and, and hair in the ear really it's you know it, it just says that uh you don't take care i mean yeah. it's important to be uh animal in your behavior but you don't have to look like an animal 100% look yeah. look prim and proper as well you look in pr prim and proper and you don't have to be smart in, in the best dress clothes and that kind of stuff you could wear an ordinary shirt but yeah. your personality is what will speak you yeah. know how you carry yourself is what you speak and what you carry yourself is through both how you look how you think and who you are and the things you say uh, exactly who you are is what do you what do you yeah. say you know and that comes from like i said reading being aware you know and intelligible and definitely having a sense of humor yeah so yeah. nay you're someone who talks to a lot of people right so you talk to a lot of women as well i do so yeah. uh what are some major red flags for women in terms of like when do they give when when do they kind of decide that okay this guy is not my cup of tea i'm not going to end up dating this guy you know it's you know you cannot be many different people at all times you are who you are and you know sometimes it's a hit sometimes it's a miss and it's okay to be a miss mm -hmm. you know uh you know when somebody is interested when talking to someone like that you first need to understand the other person gauge their interests and build on mm -hmm. that interest if you want to engage with them mm -hmm. you know you cannot be just talking about yourself mm -hmm. yeah you, know? you have to listen and the most important thing is listening people don't listen yeah. you know you just talk you just talk yeah. you talk yourself and then suddenly someone gets up and walks out yeah you know I, I and or you don't get a call the next day yeah listen you know? listening is a part of understanding someone's buttons yes and once you know the it buttons it is and and you know it's opening up someone's mind yeah. you're probing someone's mind and being able to converse yeah. with them because i think that is what remains when people 
when people uh, move, I mean, when people go away, uh, not in life, but generally leave you and go for the evening. Mm. Those are things that people carry, you know, yeah. um, grooming, uh, conversations, um, all of that makes, I think, really impact. And for me, it's always been like that. It's for me, my friends and most of the women that I know, women friends that I know, all smart, intelligent people who do great things in life, you know, uh, even if they are housewives or otherwise, uh, they're smart, intelligent people. And that makes for great conversation. Got it. And uh, could you give me like some green flags as in like some positives that will definitely flow, not just women, but yeah. men as well? I, I, I think, um, again, it brings back confidence in yourself. Mm. But con confidence, not arrogance. Yeah. You know? Uh, self-love. Se you mean self-love, but with a sense of confidence, you know? And I humility. mean, you don't, you don't have to disrespect or make yourself small to make someone else feel big. But understanding the other person requires the same space that you want. Hmm, that you know, is that, is, that is really important that you see that and you're able to convey that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the other person should feel the same uh, strength, the same warmth that you expect of them. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people think, but don't know how to convey this to yeah. people. Yeah. And I think it comes simple, basic story is learning to listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you learn a lot from it, uh, and you are yeah. able to do a lot. Yeah, and you grow that. as well through other people's words. Of course, because that's how you help under and understanding other people is how is about communicating to them. 100%. Really, from that perspective, it's really important to do yeah. that. Yeah, and also I feel that this whole grooming game and becoming a more attractive person game yeah. is long term. You learn through your mistakes. You learn right. through adding layers. No, I mean I think there is a period of life when you go through that. And that is okay. You outgrow that, you know. To say that you should be this perfect person from the day you were born is impossible. Yeah. People learn at different stages on different things. And going through it is important. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, facing acceptance or rejection is also important mm. in that way. 100%. Anyway, Mr. Narendra Kumar. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Lovely so talking to you. Beautiful conversation. Yeah, lovely. As always, Enjoyed it. Yeah, you've added layers to my mind and I'm sure you've added layers to the mind of the audience as well. It's good to be able to speak my mind. Yeah, for sure. So guys, I'm going to be linking all of Nai's handles down below. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you give him a follow. And until next time, guys, from India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. Oh, we'll yeah. see you later. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. Thank you.